This is seamless light transition. I applied this transition in a video for TMS editing challenge winter 2021. There is a similar transition like this. Hello everyone welcome back to my channel once again. In this tutorial I'll be talking about seamless light transition. This one is the first footage we'll be used to make this seamless light transition. A specific feature of this footage is bike headlight. Both of the footage from TMS editing challenge. Now let me introduce the second footage. Highlighted portion of this footage is bike headlight like the previous one. But there is an issue. Position of the both lights are not same. In this video I'm gonna fix it and make a seamless transition. Drag the second video to the right. Move the timing indicator from left to right. And have a look at program monitor. See the position of the both lights. To bring them in the same position, I'm gonna apply here a tracking technique by using color mat. Right click here, then go to the new item, select color mat. Here in color mat, I'm gonna change the value of weight and height. I'm gonna make it 100. After that, hit OK. Now I'll select red and then hit OK again. You can name this, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Now dragging this color mat, put it on second track of the timeline. Now color mat should be adjusted. So everyone, I applied the similar technique in 2019 in Dolly Zoom effect. You can watch this tutorial to know more about my tracking technique. Link down in the description. Now I have to place the color mat on right position. So I'm gonna select the color mat. Then I'm moving over there in the effect controls. Here in moving effect controls, I have to select the motion. Then I'm changing the position of color mat. I'm gonna place it right here on program monitor. To see the last frame of the first video and the first frame of the second video, you have to move the time indicator from left to right by using left and right arrow key from the keyboard to see both of the frames. After that, select the first video then go to the effect controls, select motion and move the first video on program monitor and place the light behind the color mat. As here is some issue, now I have to adjust the program monitor and I'm moving over there in the effect control and increase the size of the scale well as it is little bit high so i have to decrease the size of the scale and i'm doing it right now perfectly again place the light of the bike behind the color mat it's perfect as a tutorial now change the size of the program monitor it is time for second footage now you have to select the first frame of the second footage by hitting the right arrow key from the keyboard make sure that second footage is selected now go to the effect control and select motion after that place the light behind the color mat here is the issue to solve this issue we have to change the size of the program monitor then we have to increase or decrease the size of the scale to adjust the video on program monitor and place the light of the bike behind the color mat as it seems good to me, now I can adjust the program monitor from 25% to fit. Now I'm moving the time indicator from left to right and have a look on program monitor. So this seamless light transition is almost done. As placing the lights on the right position is almost done, now we can remove the color mat from this track. Just select the color mat and hit the delete key from the keyboard to remove the color mat. Now I have to apply a transition which is called cross dissolve transition. Now move the time indicator to see the final seamless light transition. We can apply this transition in different way. Just select and delete this transition, go to the effect and searching for cross dissolve transition. After find out the transition, apply this transition between the two video clips. So everyone, this is the today's seamless light transition. I hope you really enjoy this making process. I'll be back in the next tutorial. Till then, goodbye.